Hello Libra, this is Tarot Queen here to do your true love reading for March, April, May 2018 for the singles, for people that are single and looking. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you need a private reading. The link to my website is below. All right, so right off the bat, Libra, I've got your cards laid out here already for you. And I am predicting that many of you are going to meet a Taurus in the month of May. Um, it could be a, a Virgo or a Capricorn as well. As you can see, I see a lot of earth energy coming into your life. Okay, got the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles represents the first question, which is your future true love. And as you can see, you got the Nine of Pentacles. So first of all, I'll tell you that I do see this person is having the financial stability and security that you're looking for. There is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with wanting financial security, but you don't want to be materialistic, okay? Because the devil does show up in your reading. There is a way of being resourceful, okay? There are ways of being resourceful. I know plenty of people that are that are rich beyond their dreams, and they're not materialistic. So materialism is not necessarily something that comes with money, okay? Just to let you know. Um, now... I will tell you that I do see struggles there where I feel like you and that person are going through getting over. As you can see, you got three court cards here, the devil, the seven of wands, and the nine of pentacles. I do feel like that person is either going to be earth, could be fire or air, because you see fire and air does show up in the, in the reading as well. And a lot of earth energy. And I feel like the reason why Libras like the earth signs is because earth energy is very grounding. Very, very grounding. So, you know, yeah. So we'll clarify. We are going to do clarifiers. I'm using the Barbara Walker Tarot deck. So I hope that you guys like this deck anyway. um, So, yeah, I do see them as being very accomplished, you know, with their career. You know, pro probably when you meet them, you are going to sort of, maybe some of you Libras are going to be like, is this person materialistic? So the devil card shows up on, will the attraction be instant? I believe that yes, it will be. In fact, I feel like a lot of you Libras that are in relationships, <laughs> uh, yeah, you could possibly meet your true love within the next three months, even though you're with somebody you're already sort of attached, but you're extremely attracted to this person. You cannot, you know, stop. You, you just can't stop. Now, what will the person be like? You got the queen of pentacles. So again, no matter what, so don't just say, oh, well, Jamila said you'd be an earth sign, so I can't deal with you. No, it could be a cancer. It could be a Scorpio. It could be an air sign. It could be a, a Leo. It could be a could be any zodiac sign, but I will tell you that with the Queen of Pentacles showing up, I feel like this person is going to be very nurturing. They are going to be very grounded. Like I said, they are going to be very, um, I feel like they have this calm disposition about themselves. Okay. And um, I will throw a clarifier at that Queen of Pentacles. Give me some more information about what this person will be like. Um, I do feel as though they are going to be loyal. Okay, so they are a very loyal person. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're quite ready, Libra. A lot of you single Libras are not ready for this person. This person is, you are going to feel like they may be too good to be true. You may decide, uh, it, it, there, there's definitely going to be challenges. And I can tell, but I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on this Queen of Pentacles. Again, I feel like they, uh, yeah, I feel like the Pope comes up. So, yeah, this person is, um, feel like they are very, 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 very spiritual person. The Pope is revealing something also because that's the Hierophant. What is the Hierophant revealing to the Libras? 
judgment. So, yeah, this person is, um, I will tell you that if there's certain things that you are not, uh, there's certain things that this person is accustomed to. Okay, and then another thing I feel like with the judgment card, I do feel like on some level they are sort of judgmental. Okay, uh, most earth sign people are. I feel like this person, you know, if you are in a relationship, I do feel like that person at the same time is going to be like, wow, this person wants to see me and they're cheating. So you may want to take it slow. If you are leaving a relationship or if you are divorcing somebody, uh, <clears throat> feel like the Pope is also revealing within the judgment card. Um, they're a very deep person. Feel like they are. <sighs> To be honest with you, for some of you, they may be in law enforcement. For some of you, they could be in law enforcement. So kind of, you know, very serious. I see this person have a very having a very serious disposition about themselves. But you're going to be attracted to that, Libra. You're going to definitely be attracted to that. Okay. Challenges is the queen of wands. So I do feel as though the challenge in the relationship could possibly be sexual. But this person is still your future true love. Okay. Just because there's challenges doesn't mean that you can't get through them. So Libra, you're a very sexual person. You're ready to jump in the bed with them and they may not be ready to do all that. They may take their time. And they're very sensitive also, just to let you know. So, Spirit, give me some clarity on the Queen of Wands. What is she saying? Uh-oh, a card fell out. Ten of Swords, okay. So, again, you're used to doing things very quickly. Then, also, I feel as though some of you are actually leaving relationships for this person. So, that's going to be a challenge within the next three months. Feel like your your already existing lover is sort of like, you know, wait a minute, what did I do? You know, they're not exactly ready. Um, also, the Ten of Swords. I feel like another challenge is going to be. Rep uh, I feel like it could represent some kind of anxiety. I feel like there's anxiety either within that person or you. So, Ten of Swords could represent mental illness. <sighs> Ten of Swords can represent some kind of mental thing passed down in the family. So this could be your mother. This could be a brother. This could be your current lover. And, you know, that could be a challenge. So um, what will help is the Queen of Swords. So I feel like Queen of Swords right off the bat, she is saying to be open, open, honest and clear as well as logical. She's telling you to think with a lot of logic. What else? What else is the Queen of Swords trying to bring to the reading? The Chariot. So I feel as though it represents there is going to be challenges within the relationship, in particular, if you're leaving someone. You've got to be determined. The Chariot does represent determination. The Chariot represents You've already made up your mind. You're not going to let anybody hold you back. Also seeing and envisioning your future. Seeing and envisioning what you want to do, you know, with your future and deciding that you don't want to be held back anymore. Because I believe that a lot of you Libras, you're dealing with a person that this person don't want you to have nice things around you. I'm not, I'm, I, this is what I want to tell you. If you're a Libra and you're currently with a lover, this person has convinced you somehow to live poorly. So this person has convinced you that living poorly is humble, but not necessarily because you're not really comfortable. So if some of you Libras are leaving somebody, you have a serious disagreement when it comes to money. Your current lover has a lot of negative uh, negative feelings about money. 
and you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck in that crap and you're ready to move on. You and you can tell all through it throughout. And they, it just listen, for me, I am a person that enjoys nice things. I like having beautiful things around me. I like my candles. I like scenery. You know, there's things that I've got on my bucket list. So if I had a partner that was like, we don't need all that. Let's just sit here and rot, you know, and you're like, but I want more. It's not that I'm being materialistic and it just you guys don't see eye to eye on it. So this person is actually possibly the person that you're currently with has held you back or either your ex has held you back. So some of you Libras are moving on from a situation to where your ex did the same thing. That person just wanted y'all to be poor. So tell me if that resonates. Okay. Uh, your final outcome is when, where, or how will you meet? Now, I will tell you that for some of you Libras, you may not meet them until July. Okay. Um, or when the moon is in Leo. Okay. So Leo would be July, August. Okay. Okay. Some of you are going to meet this person at the end of May. I feel like where you're going to meet them is on, it's going to be one of those days where you are just fed the hell up and you are ready to just go and take charge. I feel like you're going to decide, I'm going to go out. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to look beautiful. And then also I feel as though on this day that you meet this person, you are going to be feeling like you're going to be feeling very powerful. You're going to be feeling like you're stepping away from the things that have held you back. So uh, as far as where or how you will meet, I feel like you're going to meet somebody on a day where you just so happen to get out of the house. <laughs> I feel like uh, it could be a day where you've had a rough day. You may have been arguing with some people, but I feel like the energy is totally going to shift. So I do feel like it is. it's not going to be how you envisioned it. You're walking down the street with, uh, I mean, I feel like you are going to, I, you know, I don't think you're going to be stressed to the capacity, but you are going to be possibly feeling very passionate that day about something. Okay. Let me throw some more cards. Spears, give me some more clarity about when, where, or how Libra will meet their true love. See? the sun and the princess of pentacles. So I feel like the sun represents um, how, how the energy is going to be. I feel like this person's energy is going to be perfect for you. Again, I do see this person as an earth sign. And I do feel as though they, you know, with the princess of pentacles coming up, I feel like they're going to be throwing money at you. Okay. I'm not even going to lie to you because that's comparable to the night. I feel like they're going to be like, hey, I've got this for you. I've got that for you. Um, you know, they're going to want to take you out. They're going to say, hey, I know this nice restaurant. And I feel like you're going to accept it. But I do feel like that day you're going to be pretty much you're going to be determined to get past that blockage and to get out and to break free from bondage. You are going to be determined to break free from whatever bondage you are in, okay? So the devil shows up showing that that could be, even though it comes up in the position of will the attraction be instant, I believe that yes, it will be. You can tell by the sun card, but I feel like the devil showing up because another card could have came up in that position. So I feel like just the devil showing up in your reading, even though it's an obvious yes answer, it just still shows that some of you, Libras might be in some bondage situations. Okay. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Oh yeah. Another thing. Some of you Libras is going to meet this person in July. Some of you may. So I feel like it's definitely going to be somewhere throughout. Um, wait a minute. Hold on. It's because, uh, because I can see again, I see a Taurus. I see a Taurus, okay? And that Taurus is going to have, probably going to be celebrating their birth because Tauruses tend to celebrate the whole month. It could possibly be the end of April when this person comes into play. Could possibly be the end of April, between April and May for some of you when the, when the, concert, when the moon is in Taurus or during Taurus birthday time, okay? 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching Libras. Again, if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below and I'll see you guys next time. Blessed.